Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So after topic discussion, we are going to start our first topic. But before start first topic, uh, let's uh, let's uh, discuss about basic about firewall device, Krish. Okay. Yes. What do you think about firewall? Yeah, firewall is just um, we we can um, we can block any applications mm -hmm. and we can block any IP address and we can block uh, if, uh, users and devices. Okay, to block uh, traffic, right? To block yes, traffic, to block you traffic, can traffic yes. So to filter our packet in network, we can deploy firewall devices, right? Yes. But see, firewall is... Firewall is just like a router. Remember always. Firewall is just like a router. For example, you can configure routing on, on router device. You can configure NAT on router device, VPN on router device. Same option you can configure on firewall box. So firewall is just like a router. Fresh, okay? Yes. It's just like a router. But yes, in Firewall, we have some advanced feature, some advanced option, which router cannot provide you. So Firewall is just like a router. Now, what is exactly Firewall? So Firewall is a system, you can say. Firewall is a system or a group of system that can manage access between networks, between networks. So we have LAN network, van network and dmz network so we have three type of network what is firewall firewall is a system okay that can manage access between network so what is lan lan is called private network right yes your private lan portion is called lan private lan now van it's a public network or isp site network mm -hmm. What about DMZ? Any idea about DMZ network? Because this is LAN. LAN we are no. LAN is what? Private network. WAN is what? Internet side. ISP portion. What about DMZ? Any idea? Delimitary zone. Like... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Why we need this zone? Because see, for example, if I have a, if I have a firewall device, for example, so this portion is your LAN portion. I can put all my devices in LAN side network. For example, I have my web server, I have my DNS server, SMTP server, FTP server, and yes, some computers we have in LAN side network, computers, desktop computers, and company confidential servers we have. So my point is I can put all my devices I can put all my devices in LAN network, right? Yes. And this portion, this portion is your public side portion, your ISP network. Into this topology, if you see, this is web server. This is DNS. This one we are using as a SMTP and this one is FTP. So now into this topology, if I want to allow some traffic from outside, okay? If I want to allow some traffic from outside, this machine, this outside machine can communicate with this web server. If I want to allow some traffic from outside, so to allow traffic, we can create policy. Krish, mm -hmm. we can create policy. How to create policy? We'll discuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, in Cisco ASA, you can say access control policy. In Fortinet, you can say firewall policy concept. In Palo Alto, it's a security policy concept. So to allow traffic, yes, we can create policy. So as per our policy, for example, as per our policy, this outside machine, this outside machine, this outside machine can come in your network and can discuss with this web server, or you can say can communicate with this web server can use particular service or protocol, that's it. As per your policy, only this particular source can communicate with this particular destination IP, can access particular service, that's it. 
So to allow this traffic from outside network, from this untrusted network, you can configure policy and traffic is coming in your, in your LAN side network. But the problem is traffic is coming from untrusted network. This ISP portion is what? Untrusted network, right, Krish? Yes. So it may be possible this traffic can try to compromise other devices because it's, yes. com it's coming from untrusted network. So that is the issue. Okay. If we are putting all our devices in LAN side network, like these servers, okay, desktop computers, company, confidential server, if I'm putting all my devices in a single network, in a single zone, so that is the issue. Okay. So into the scenario, what we can do into the scenario, we can create, we can create a separate zone here. Okay. We can, for these computers, we can create a separate zone. It's called DMZ zone. It's just a name. It's just a name, okay? You can you can take any name here. For example, your name, my name, any name. But technically, we are saying DMZ. So here we can put a switch. This is DMZ network. DMZ network. I can put all my servers like web server, SMTP server, FTP server, web server. I can put all my servers here. And these servers, these servers are publicly allowed for outside user, Krish. Okay? okay, for outside user. So now this time, what you can do? This time, yes, you, you need to create policy. But this time, if traffic is coming to coming from outside and going to hit onto this public facing interface, your firewall will redirect this traffic. Your firewall will redirect this traffic on web server. How to redirect our traffic? I will show you practically, okay? In 48, I can show you how to redirect our traffic. But the point is now your LAN network is secure, right? Yes. If traffic is coming from outside, it will redirect on DMZ side network. So your uh, desktop computers, your company confidential servers, they are secure. So that's why we need DMZ network. In DMZ network, DMZ zone, we can put all the servers and these servers are publicly allowed. Clear this concept, DMZ, Krish? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, now let's talk about some common, common feature about firewall device, common feature. Okay, if you are working with any vendor, Cisco ASA, Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, Palo Alto, Fortinet, Checkpoint, with any firewall device, this feature is a common feature. It's, it's called Stateful Firewall Technique. Stateful Firewall Technique. What is Stateful Firewall Device? And see, Firewall is what? Firewall is a stateful device. Router is a stateless device. Firewall is a stateful device. So what is stateful firewall technique? For example, here we have a firewall device. Let's take example with Cisco ASA. Krish, okay? Krish, let's take example with Cisco ASA. Cisco yes. ASA, it's a Cisco firewall device. Cisco firewall device. Now, you can connect your network. This portion is your LAN network. LAN network. And yes, we have some computers. This side, this side is your WAN side network. So for stateful firewall discussion, we are using right now ASA. Okay, so this interface is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. This interface is 0 slash 1. In Cisco ASA, if you are working with Cisco ASA, in Cisco ASA, it's work with a concept is called security level. Cisco ASA firewall works with security level concept. And we have some predefined concept here. What is predefined concept? If you are using this keyword, I-N-S-I-T-E. If you are using this keyword on any interface, for example, this inside keyword, this inside keyword, I-N-S-I-T, inside keyword, I'm using on to this interface. So this is a predefined keyword. This interface will get a security level 100. Now, if you go on to this public facing interface, public facing interface and onto this interface, if you are using any other keyword, not inside, any keyword, your name, my name, for example, I'm using 
outside this keyboard outside so this interface will get a security level zero in cisco asa firewall by default traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower security level by default krish mm -hmm. only in cisco asa in 14.8 in polo volto in checkpoint firewall in cisco firepower threat defense concept is different okay yes, sir. in cisco asa if you are working with cisco asa so in cisco asa by default traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower security level no need to create any policy rule it's a by default concept now into this topology this inside machine 192 uh, 68 10.10 10, this inside machine is trying to communicate with this outside server here we have a server 8.8.8.8 so this inside machine this inside machine is trying to communicate with this outside server so this traffic will go and hit onto this interface when traffic will hit here, firewall will check, ASA firewall will check, okay, this traffic is coming coming from higher security level and trying to travel to lower security level and as per default concept, traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower security level, so traffic is traveling. Your traffic is traveling now. And when traffic is traveling through firewall device, through this appliance, Firewall will maintain the state of connection. Firewall will maintain the state of connection in state table. Or you can say connection table or you can say session table or you can say state table. So when traffic is traveling through the firewall device, firewall will maintain the state of connection in connection table, in state table. And what it maintain? What it maintain? It maintain, it maintain source IP. source IP, source, source port number, destination IP, destination port number. So as per our task, our source IP is, our source IP is 192.168. So our source IP is 192.168.10.10. And source port number, let's take a random port number, for example, 52,000. Destination IP, he is trying to communicate with this 8.8.8. .8. So, destination IP is 8.8.8 .8 and destination port number. Okay, he is trying to access HTTPS service port number 443. So, traffic is traveling. Traffic is traveling and when traffic is traveling through the firewall device, through the appliance, firewall will maintain the state of connection in connection table or in state table. Clear now, Krish? Yes, sir. What about reply packet? Now, what about reply packet? When reply packet will come and go and hit onto this interface. So onto this interface, we have a security level. Zero, right? Yes, sir. Now, I told you, traffic is by default allowed from higher security level to lower security level. But from lower to higher, everything is denied. So when return traffic will go and hit onto this interface, your firewall will check state table. Any traffic, if any traffic will hit on firewall interface, on firewall any interface, firewall will check this traffic information in connection table, in session table, in a state table. And in state table, firewall can verify, okay, this traffic is coming from 8.8.8. .8. Yes, I have this information. And this information for this IP address. So firewall can identify, okay, I have this information in, in my state table. So this is not, this traffic is not initiated from outside. This is just a reply packet. Firewall can identify this traffic was initiated from LAN side network. So behalf of your state table, Fowl can identify this traffic was initiated from LAN side network and it's just a reply packet. So this traffic is allowed. So what is state table? What is stateful firewall inspection? When traffic is traveling through the firewall device, firewall will maintain the state of connection in connection table, then forward the traffic to the outside. 
when reply packet will come firewall will check this traffic information information in a state table if information is available traffic is allowed otherwise drop mm -hmm. clear yes sir yeah this is state table this is not a just this is not just a story okay this is state table this connection table i can show you in fortigate firewall device every firewall maintain state table session table clear Yes, sir. Okay, now let's talk about next common firewall features. It's called firewall mode. So we have two options. Okay, firewall mode, two options. L3 firewall device or L2 firewall device. It's a common feature. If you are working with Cisco ASA firewall, Cisco firepower, you can go with, you can go with layer 2 firewall or you can use your firewall box as a layer 3. What is layer 3? Layer 3 means what? You can say NAT mode firewall or rooted mode firewall. Layer 2 firewall, it's called transparent firewall device. So it's a common feature. This concept you can use in any vendor. Layer 2 firewall or layer 3 firewall. In case if I'm using my box, In case if I'm using my device as a layer 3 firewall, for example, if this firewall is a layer 3 firewall device, so these interfaces, these interfaces are called layer 3 interfaces. Okay, we can configure IP address here. We can configure IP address here onto these interfaces. We can configure routing onto this box, NAT onto this box, VPN onto this box. We can configure and yes, it's a next generation firewall. So we can utilize next generation firewall feature. But in case if you are using this complete box as a layer two firewall, then if you are using this complete device, this complete appliance as a layer two firewall, then you cannot configure IP address onto these interfaces because these are called now layer two interfaces it's not a switch port krish okay. it's not a switch port it's a layer two interface layer two interface means what we cannot configure ip address onto these interfaces we cannot configure routing onto this box nat no vpn no but yes it's a next generation firewall so you can utilize next generation firewall feature clear yes sir now the point is, the point is, in which scenario we can use our firewall box as our firewall device as a layer two firewall. Because you can see here, with layer three firewall, Krish, we have a great feature, right? If I if I'm using my box as a layer three firewall, I can utilize all the features, like right? right? I can configure yes, routing, I can configure NAT, I can terminate VPN connections, I can configure IP address on interfaces. So we have great feature with layer 3 firewall device. What is the scenario? What is the scenario to use our box as a layer 2 firewall or as a transparent firewall? Let's talk about scenario. Okay, where we need layer 2 firewall. So for example, I'm working in a I'm working in a existing routing switching topology. Okay. Okay, here we have a router device. This router is connected with a switch. Okay, switch. Now this portion, this portion is your ISP portion. So I'm working in an existing routing switching topology and into this topology, everything is working fine. We have complete configuration. This inside, in this inside machine traffic is going to hit on switch. Switch is forwarding traffic to the router and based on routing table, router is forwarding traffic to the outside. Everything is working fine. Now into this topology, you want to deploy a firewall device. Krish, into this topology. Yes, now as a network administrator, now I have a firewall device. I want to do packet filtering. I want to filter my traffic. So I want to deploy a firewall device here. Before deploy a firewall device, you can see this portion is your LAN subnet, right? Mm -hmm. This portion is what your public side network. So in case if I'm using my device, 
if I'm trying to deploy my firewall device as a layer three firewall, for example, if I'm using my box, if I'm trying to deploy my firewall device as a layer three firewall box. So these interfaces, these interfaces are called layer three interfaces. It means each interface is participating in different subnet because it's a layer three firewall device. It's a layer three interfaces. So each interface is participating in different subnet. It means I need to change. I need to change my existing IP address scheme. Now your single subnet is divided into two different subnet. This portion, different network, this portion, different network, right? Krish, if I'm using yes, my box, if I'm using my device as a layer three firewall device, so each interface is participating in different subnet. That is the issue. No problem. I can I can change my IP address scheme. I want to deploy my firewall device as a layer three firewall device. You can do this. You can change your IP address scheme. You can deploy your firewall device as a layer three firewall device. You can use it. But in case, in case, if I don't want to change anything, I don't want to change any IP address scheme in my existing network. In my existing network, I don't want to change any IP address scheme, but I want to deploy a complete firewall device, complete next generation firewall device. So I can use my firewall box as a layer two firewall box. If this firewall is a layer two firewall device, so these interfaces are what? Layer two interfaces. So no need to configure IP address. But yes, you can you can give a name. For example, this is a LAN interface. This is WAN interface. Again, it's a single subnet. Please clear my point. Yes, single sir. subnet. No need to configure IP address onto these interfaces. If you want to allow traffic from LAN to WAN, yes, you can configure policy. So where we can deploy our layer two firewall device in live network, in live network. And in most cases, layer two firewall, we can deploy in existing data center network. Because data center network is a complex network. And if you are trying to deploy your firewall devices, so you need to change, you know, IP address scheme, and this is difficult. So you can deploy your firewall box as a layer two firewall box. No need to change any IP address and you can utilize all firewall features. But we have limitation, I told you. With layer two firewall, we have limitation. We cannot configure routing, NAT, VPN. But we can utilize next generation firewall feature. Clear my point? Yes, sir. So this is the scenario to use our box as a layer two firewall. Now let's talk about 48. So this training is related with NSC4, wait. After this training, you can go for NSC4 examination. Okay, so we can start our first topic is called introduction and initial configuration. So I told you uh, in 14.8, this training is related with NSC4. After NSC4, you can go for some advanced training. It's called NSC5. In NSC5, we have two devices, 40 manager and 40 analyzer. After NSC5, you can go for NSC 7 training. So we have Enterprises Firewall and 14.8 SD WAN implementation. So this is the sequence you can follow step by step. Okay, Krish. Right yes, now sir. we are here. We are in NSC 4 Firewall training. Okay. So
Okay, so this this Fortinet certification is called NSC. It's called Network Security Expert. Like in Cisco, we have CCNA, CCNP certifications, CCIE certification. In Palo Alto, we have PCNSA, PC, NSC. Or in Checkpoint, we have CCSA, CCSE. Same, in Fortinet, we have NSC program, Network Security Expert program. And we have eight level of certifications, NSC 1, 2, NSC 8, NSC 1, 2, and 3. These three certifications are totally free. Any idea about these certifications, Krish? No idea, that's sir. The NSC 1, 2, and 3. These certifications are totally free. What you can do, you can you can log in with you can log in with training.fortinate.com. Mm -hmm. You can log in with training.fortinate.com. You can create your account. You can create your account. See, you can click on sign up. You can create your account here. Once you create your account, then yes, you can try to log in with your account. You can go with you can go with NSC one videos, NSC two videos, NSC three, and you can watch some videos here for NSC one, two, and three certifications. It will take hardly maximum one to two hours to pass these three certifications. It is totally free. Krish, yes, sir. Try to no. try to visit on training training dot fourteen eight dot com. Okay, dear. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I will I will do that. Yes. Okay, but our training is related with NC4. Here we are trying to learn how to work with a firewall device. Okay, so before deploy a firewall box in any network, I'm talking about any firewall, not Fortinet. Before deploy a firewall device in any network, you need to review some feature. As a network administrator, you need to review some feature. For example, you need to know first architecture of firewall device. Because every firewall architecture is different. Okay, if you talk about checkpoint. So in checkpoint, we have Gaia. In checkpoint firewall, we have Gaia operating system. You can download this Gaia operating system. It's, it's a software-based firewall. Checkpoint is a software-based firewall. You can download this Gaia operating system. This operating system you can install on okay in your laptop, in your desktop. You can use your laptop or desktop as a complete firewall box. It's a checkpoint architecture. Okay, in Palo Alto in 14, we have a dedicated appliance. In dedicated appliance, we have 40 OS version. In Palo Alto, we have Pan OS version. In Cisco Firewall, we have Cisco iOS. So every firewall architecture is different. So you need to know, you need to know the architecture of each firewall device. So prefer a software firewall that you can install on a new or existing PC, or you can go with dedicated appliance. So you need to know the architecture. First feature. Second, you need to know about sessions. In case if I'm working in a small network, so for a small network, we have we have entry level firewall devices. Let me show you these are these are entry level entry level firewall series. See 48, 30 to 90 series. These are called entry level firewall. For medium size network, yes, you can go with mid range firewall device, mid range firewall appliance series, hundred to nine hundred series. Like okay, for high enterprise network, you can go with 1,000, 3,000, 6,000, and yes, we have JTS base. So for a small network, I need only entry level of firewall device. For big network, you can go with mid-range series. You can go with high-end appliance. So if you talk about number of session, number of session, you need to know number of session because if I'm working with a big organization, okay, I've, okay if I'm working with 500 computers, so I cannot deploy entry level firewall device because it support limited number of sessions, Krish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before buy a firewall device, please check, please check data sheet. Okay, 
before buy a firewall device for your organization, you need to know the data sheet about firewall. You can type on Google, 148 firewall data sheet. You can get all product information, product information. You need to read this information because we have a lots of documents here about product family. See, 48, 48, 48, 40F, 40F, 60F, 70F. You can get all the options, what features they can support, what interfaces they can provide, number of sessions they can support. So the feature is, the point is what? Number of, number of concurrent session. Point is number of concurrent session firewall need to support. For example, I told you for big network, I cannot go with entry level firewall device. So you need to verify number of session. Mm -hmm. After that, you can go for VPN implementation. VPN. In my network, we are using side to side VPN concept. We are using remote access VPN concept. So can I configure these options in, in firewall device? In case if I want to do integration, integration, I want to integrate my firewall device with any servers like exchange server, SharePoint collaboration server, or any remote authentication server. Can I do integration? You need to check before buy a firewall device. If I want to manage this firewall device through CLI, through graphical page, is it possible? If I want to manage this firewall device through SSS, Telnet, SNMP, is it possible? Or in case, if I have multiple firewall appliances, multiple firewall appliances, and I want to manage all firewall on a centralized location, from a centralized location. So yes, we can do this. Like in Palo Alto, in Palo Alto, if you want to manage multiple Palo Alto firewall, you need Panorama device. Panorama, it's, it's a centralized management device. In checkpoint, if you have multiple checkpoint gateway appliance, to manage multiple checkpoint gateway, we need checkpoint management, or you can say SMS server. To manage multiple, multiple, wait, Cisco Firepower Threat Defense. Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, it's a Cisco next generation firewall device. To manage multiple FTD appliance, yes, we have a concept is called FMC, Firepower Management Center in Cisco. So in, in, in every vendor, we have centralized management option. If you are working with 48 firewall, 48 firewall, so to manage multiple 48 firewall, yes, we have a device. 40 manager. Clear my point? Yes, sir. So 48 is giving you option like other vendor. Yes, you can go with centralized management option. You can. So in case if I want to manage multiple firewall device from a centralized location, yes, option is available. High availability in my network, we are using high availability concept, failover concept. Can I use high availability? High availability configuration is different in each vendor, Krish. Right now, you are working with 48. If you go, if you configure high availability in Cisco ASA, we have a different options. Clear my point? Mm -hmm, sure. So, but, but the but the question is, can I configure high availability? So these are the features as a network administrator. These are the features you need to review before buy a firewall device for your organization. Now in market, we have multiple vendors for next generation firewall features. Multiple vendors. Let me show you. We have multiple vendors for next generation firewall features. See? These are what? These are called next generation firewall features. Next generation firewall. See? These are, these all are the firewall vendors. And this is a Gartner report. This report you can download, you know, from, from Gartner website. 
Okay, after survey, Gartner divided all the vendors in four categories. Leaders in the market, challengers in the market, nice player and visioners. So Palo Alto, Fortinet, Cisco and Checkpoint. They are what? They are the leader in the market right now for next generation firewall features. But yes, we have some challengers. We have some nice players like Juniper Firewall, Barracuda, Sonic Wall. Our focus is on right now, 48. So we have multiple vendors for next generation firewall features. You cannot say which firewall is good, Krish. You cannot say which firewall is good because every firewall has its own feature. Now, so let's talk about some history about 48. So 48 was founded in 2000 by two brothers, Ken and Michael. The company first product was 48 firewall, but this time we have multiple 48 product. Multiple 48 products. See, these are what 48 product devices. Like Cisco, like Cisco, we have 48 firewall here in 48, 40 Wi-Fi, 40 app, 40 analyzer, 40 manager, 40 switch, 40 camera. Multiple 48 product we have in the market. Let's talk about default configuration. Let's talk about default configuration. Default configuration is what? If I have any high end appliance, Krish, any question right now? No, not yet, sir. No, not yet. So let's talk about default factory setting. If I have any high end or mid range model, if I have any high end or mid range model, so in high end and mid range model, we have data interfaces. These are what data interfaces. So we can connect LAN, WAN, DMJ. And in high end or mid range model, you can get a dedicated management port. It's a management port. You can connect your management PC, your laptop, your desktop with this management port. By default, we have this IP address on management port. By default. So you can configure same series of IP address here. Same series of IP from this machine. You can check your connectivity because by default on management port, these services are enabled by default. Ping, HTTPS, SSH. These services are enabled by default on management port. So from management PC, you can check your connectivity. You can check your connectivity to access graphically. You can use HTTPS to manage CLI. You can use SSS protocol. So in high end and mid range model, we can get dedicated management port. But in case if you have any entry level firewall device, for example, 48, 1430 D, 60 D, 90 E model, any entry level firewall device. In entry level firewall device, you have only data interfaces. Only data interfaces. For example, this is port number one, this is port two, port three, port four, port five. You have only data interfaces. So in entry level firewall device, you can use your port number one as a management port. You can use any interface as a management port, no problem. But by default, on port number one, on port number one, these services are enabled by default, by default, only on port number one. So you can connect your management PC with port number one. You can take a console for this firewall device. You can take a console, you can configure IP address on port number one. Same series of IP you can configure here. Same series of IP you can configure here. You can verify your connectivity. And yes, you can manage through graphical page. You can manage through CLI option. Clear? Krish, Cl clear my point? Yes sir. yes, sir. Default username is admin. Let me show you. Wait. Let me show you this default setting. Wait.
Okay, I have a small topology. Krish, I have a small topology. One management PC. One management PC. Wait. One management PC and one 40 gate fiber device. Simple topology. For basic configuration, we have a simple topology. One 40 gate fiber device and one management PC. Clear my point, Krish? Yes, sir. You can connect your cable with port number one. So this is entry level fiber device. Port number one we can use as a management port. You can right click on firewall. You can start your firewall. This is console page. This is console page. Mm. Okay. Can we take a break for five minutes? Then we can start, Krish. Yes, no problem. Five minute break. Okay. Please turn yes. off. Oh. Yes.
Hello, uh, Krish, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, let's continue our topic now. So this is console page, Krish, okay? This is console page. And login, username is admin. And password is nothing. You can press enter. Password you can set. One, two, three. I'm using one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now here you are in 48 file device. If you type question mark, if you type question mark, you can see multiple options are available. See, config, get, show, diagnose, execute, areas, exit. Multiple options are available. So let's start our discussion with show command. Show command. So I want to verify interface related information. You can use show system interface command to verify interface related information. So yes, we have four interfaces here. Port number one, port number two, port number three, port number four. On port number one, I told you by default, these services are enabled, right? Yes, sir. By default, see, it's enabled. If you verify on port number two, nothing is allowed only on port number one. That's why we are using port number one as a management port. Mm -hmm. Okay, on port number one, you can see DSCP service is enabled. So if you connect your port number one with any DSCP server, it can get IP address automatically. But we are trying to configure IP address statically. So let's configure IP address on port number one. For configuration, you can use config command. For configuration, you can use config command. So command is config system interface. You can go in interface mode. Now edit, edit, and I want to edit port number one as per our task. Port number one is connected with this management PC. So edit port number one. You can go in port number one, press enter. Now set mode static because I want to configure IP address statically. Set mode static, set IP, set IP. So IP into this topology, IP I am using 199 series. 199, so 199, 199, 199.1 slash 24. Or you can use any other IP, for example, 100. You can press enter. Now, if you want to allow some services, so set allows. See, these are the services. These are the services you can allow as per your requirement. So I want to allow HTTP, HTTPS, ping and SSH. You can use end command to save your configuration. Crash. End command we are using in FortiGate to save our configuration. Like in Cisco, we have WR. In Cisco, we have WR. Yes, sir. In checkpoint, we have save config. In in Palo Alto, we have commit option. Mm -hmm. Here we have end command to save our configuration. Now you can verify this time. Show system system interface. So yes, we have port number one, IP address services information so let's try to verify our connectivity from this management pc management pc Okay, so let's verify our connectivity first from this management PC. So IP address, IP config. Okay, we don't have IP address, so we can configure now. Same series of IP address I'm using. So 199, 199, 199.10. You can click on okay, close. Now you can verify your connectivity from this management PC. IP config, 
So we have 199, 199, 199.10. And I'm trying to ping. I'm trying to ping 199.199.199.100. So 199.199.199.100. And we are getting a reply search, right? Mm -hmm. Simple topology. One 40 gate file device, one management PC. If you are getting a reply, so you can... You can access this firewall box 199.199.199.100. This is a graphical page, login page, username, admin, and password. We are using 123. So, this is a graphical page. This one is what? Console. And yes, this one is what? Graphical page. Clear my point? Yes, sir. Now, now let's verify some information on graphical page. So we have multiple options here, multiple options here, like dashboard, security fabric, network, system, policy, and object, security profile, VPN, user and authentication, login report. Multiple options are available. We can start our discussion with dashboard first. Before dashboard, you can see this firewall name, Fortigate VM64 KVU. So we are working into this testing scenario. So we have VM firewall box. In case if you are working with any physical device like 1490D, 60E, so you can get name here, Fortigate 60D. We are working with VM firewall box, so it's a VM64. Now let's talk about dashboard. So this is dashboard. This is what you complete dashboard. Dashboard we are using for monitoring. And it's a common tab. It's a common tab in any next generation firewall device. Dashboard we are using for monitoring. So on dashboard, let's talk about system information first. Let's talk about system information first. So host name for this Fortigate firewall device is Fortigate VM64 KVM. If you want to change host name for this firewall device, you can use command config system global set host name firewall one to save your configuration in 48 in the command. Now you can ref refresh this page. You can refresh this page and you can see host name is changed now. Host name is changed now. It's a firewall one. This is firewall serial number. Okay, firmware sorry. version, firmware version. So we are working with 6.4.4, 40 OS version 1803. Okay, you can, if you are working with 7.0 or 7.2, you can get version information here. Build version, mode of this firewall device, it's a NAT mode firewall. It means and this firewall is acting as a layer 3 appliance, system time, system time information, uptime information, WAN IP is unknown because it's a new firewall device. License information you can verify on dashboard. Okay, we are working into this testing scenario. We can do all our practicals, okay, but with limited options. In real network, if you have a license in your box, you can get license information, 40k support, firmware and general update license, IPS license, antivirus, web filtering. How to install license? I will show you. Okay, in next practical, in next topic, in security profile discussion. Here I can show you how to install license, how to download latest signature update. Okay, Krish. Yes, sir. But sir. here, what we have, my point is here we have license information. If you have a license in your box, so you can get information like date issued, date expired information. Now, virtual machine. So, yes, we have VM firewall box. One CPU, we, we have 2 GB RAM. Now, 40 cloud not supported. Security fabric information you can verify. Administrators account information you can verify on dashboard. One is managing through console. Yes, console. And one is managing through graphical page. Yes, this is graphical page. Username. So yes, we, user is what? Admin. 
so on console on graphical yes we are using default user account admin and with this admin account we have a file is called super underscore admin profile with this admin account we have a profile super underscore admin now what is super underscore admin profile i will tell you okay we have a next topic our back role based access control so i will tell you about this super admin profile concept sir sir j2 uh and then can you give me a couple of time to uh to uh guide me to install this uh e uh simulator you know the one you gave me in the email those uh yes. hello krish yes i will i yes. will take the step tomorrow we will we will set up our lab yeah hey thank you thank you thank you yes tomorrow i will help you thank you thank you sir okay now so here we have administrator account information you can verify cpu utilization here ram utilization session information so these these are the default option these are the default option available on dashboard in case if you want to add other information on dashboard so yes you can click on you can click on add and you can see multiple options are available for example i want to verify interface bandwidth utilization information so you can you can search interface bandwidth i want to verify port number 4 bandwidth utilization you can add on dashboard i want to verify ha status information yes you can add your ha status information close so you can verify here your interface bandwidth utilization option on dashboard and at a status right now this firewall is not participating in any any failure configuration that's why at a status is fresh mm -hmm. standard right sir now let's talk about our back concept wait let's talk about our back concept role base access control role base access control so we can create multiple firewall administrators account okay to manage our fortigate firewall we can create multiple firewall administrator account for example to manage this firewall i am creating admin one account i am creating admin two account i can create but for each administrator, I want to define different level of access for each administrator. I want to define different level of access or privilege, you can say. For example, this admin one is my L3 administrator. So I want to give him full access. Okay. Whenever he will log in into this 48 power device, he can do any kind of changes. Fresh. Yes, sir. What about this admin 2? So, admin 2 is my L1 administrator. L1 administrator. I want to provide him some privilege. For example, I want to provide a read only privilege, read only permission. Whenever this admin 2 will log in into the log in into this 40 gig file device, he can only view the configuration, he can only read the configuration, he cannot change anything. So to define the level of access or privilege in FortiGate firewall device, we can create admin profile. We can create admin profile here. Admin profile. For example, I am creating, for example, I am creating L3 admin profile. It's just a name, Krish. Mm -hmm, sure. L3 admin, it's just a name. You can give your name, my name, no problem. It's just a name. It's a profile name. Into this profile, you can attach your permission, your privilege. For example, I'm giving full access privilege. Full access privilege. This profile I can attach with this admin one account. So when admin one account will log in into this 48 power device, he has. Krish, he has full access permission well, to yes. any kind of changes. Mm -hmm. Now, now, what about this admin 2? So, for admin 2, I am creating L1 
admin profile it's just a profile name into this profile you can provide some privilege or access for example i'm using read only read only access this profile i can attach with admin 2 so when admin 2 will log in into this powerful device he can only read the configuration he cannot change anything clear this point concept yes sir. yes sir okay let's 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 go with 40 gate power device in 40 gate power device in 40 gate power device we have this default admin account page if you click on system if you click on system if you click on administrator so we have default admin account is called admin we have default admin account is called admin and with this admin account, we have a profile is called super underscore admin profile. Right? Mm. With this account, with this default account, we have super underscore admin profile and type is what? Local. Type is local means what? This account is available in FortiGate Firewall local database. In local storage. So you can create multiple firewall administrator account from here. Now, what about admin profiles? So you can create, you can create your custom profile here. See, these are what? These are what? Custom profile. Custom profile. Custom profile. If you go on 48 power device, so we have two predefined profile here. In admin profile, we have two predefined option, two predefined profile option, professional underscore admin and super underscore admin profile. What is the difference in between both profiles? So if you select, if you select super underscore admin profile, you can only view the configuration. You can only view the permission. See, these are what? These are what? Access control option. These are access controls. See, network tab, right? System tab. So these are access control option. And for each option, we have permission. Fresh, we have permission. Read, write, read, write, read, write, read, write, read, write. Full control. And you cannot edit. You cannot edit permission in, into this profile. No. See, you can only click on return. So we have super underscore admin profile. We cannot edit. If you select professional underscore admin profile, we can edit. Super underscore admin profile, we cannot see view option. Professional underscore admin, we can edit. So if you want to change permission in profile, so you can go with professional underscore admin. You can edit. See, you can edit as per your requirement. You can edit as per your requirement. Chris, clear my point? Yes, sir. This is default. This is custom profile. Now, in case if you want to create your own profile, yes, you can click on create new. You can give a name. For example, I'm giving a name L3 admin. It's just a profile name. Yes, sir. To this profile, you can give your permission. So for all access control, I'm using a read write, full control full access permission into this L3 admin profile. You can click on OK. You can click on create new. Let's create one more profile. One more profile L1 admin permission. So I'm giving a read permission for all access control. Read permission. You can click on OK. So we have two custom profile. Now you can see here we have reference option, right? With super underscore admin profile, we have a reference number two. But with professional underscore admin, L3 admin, L1 admin, reference number is zero. So reference number is giving you idea. You are using this profile somewhere in configuration. You are using this profile somewhere in configuration. So if you click on to, if you click on to, you can get a clear idea. You are using this profile in single sign-on administrator and with this system administrator. 
right now we have a reference number zero for this professional underscore admin l3 admin l1 admin it means we are not using these profiles anywhere in configuration okay clear now yes sir krish yes sir now let's create administrator account you can click on administrator you can click on create new you can click on administrator we can give a name for this admin account you can give a name for this admin account and type is local local user local user means what i'm creating this admin account in local database so local user let's create our user account so user account i'm creating admin admin one admin one password password i'm using one two three one one two three wait one two three and now you can attach your profile so profile yes i am adding l3 admin profile with this admin one account you can click on okay no problem but you can see here we have an option restrict login to trusted host so you can specify ip address information trusted host ip address information okay it means only specific ip address can access this fortigate firewall device clear my point yes sir only specific ip address so you can define your specific ip address information for example 199 199 199 40 32 only this specific ip address can manage or you can go with the submit option so 199 199 199 20 or so complete submit you can use slash 24 so you can add a specific ip address information you can add your complete submit information so only particular subnet or particular ip address can access this FortiGate firewall device clear my point yes sir right now i'm using any option so let's disable this anyone can access you can click on ok now we can create one more admin account administrator admin account is admin 5 now password password 123 one two three and we can attach profile l1 admin profile with admin five we are using profile l1 admin you can click on okay see let's try to log out mm -hmm. let's try to log out and log in with admin one account password one two three password one two three Now you can see with this admin one account, we have a profile. Krish, what? L3. L3 admin. So in L3 admin, if you remember, we have full access permissions. So this admin account can go anywhere. For example, interface, select any interface. You can edit. See, you can edit this interface. Option is available. You can go with policy and object, firewall policy create new so yes you can create your policy so this admin account can do any kind of changes log out and i'm trying to log in with admin 5 password 123 you can click on login so with admin 5 we have a profile we have a profile is called l1 admin profile and into l1 admin profile we have a read only permission for all access control so you can click on network, you can click on interface, you can select any interface, for example, port number two. And you can see, wait, you cannot edit, see. You have only return option. If you click, if you select any interface, what you have? View, see. Just view only. Just view. If you go with firewall policy, if you go with firewall policy and if you want to create any rule policy rule see you cannot create you have only view option i hope this topic is clear are back 
Yes, sir. I hope this R back concept is clear. Let's try to log out and we can log in with main admin account. So this is our back. Now let's talk about these options. Let's talk about these options. So here we have, here we have search option, search. For example, if I'm looking for any tab option, like in, in network, we have multiple tab in policy and object in security profile. We have multiple tab. For example, I'm looking for interface related information. So you can type here your keyword interface. It will give you all the options related with this keyword, all the options. Okay, my task is I want to go in network and interface. You can just click, it will redirect here, see? So you can search. In FortiGate Firewall, you can search with keyword. This is CLI console. If you click on here, this is CLI console. It's a complete console, Krish, okay? You can use any command. For example, show system interface you can use use any command here but this console you can access when you have a graphical page okay yes, sir. when you have a graphical page then yes you can access this console but for first time you need this console now you can go with full screen mode full screen mode or you can exit you can go with online help if you click on online help, it will redirect. If you have internet connection, it will redirect on 48 document library. Let me show you here. So if you if you click on to this, if you click, if you click on to this question mark, it will redirect on 48 document library. So 48, 48 document library it will redirect here so if you want to learn about any device any device like 40 gate 40 manager 40 analyzer you can just click on 40 gate for example you can search your os version for example in my network i have 7.0 you can click you can download administration guide new feature information so it will redirect here in 48 document library this can help you to learn. Now this bell icon, this is net notification option. Right now this 40 gate firewall is not connected with internet. We have a simple topology, one 40 gate firewall and one management PC. So that's why we are getting this message unable to connect 40 guard server. So 40 guard servers to download latest signatures to download latest application signature, to download latest antivirus signatures, we need to connect our FortiGate firewall device with FortiGuard servers, Krish, okay? Yes, right sir. now, this firewall is not connected with internet. That's why we are getting this message. We are working with VM firewall device. So this image is only valid for 15 days, okay? Into this topology, after 15 days, what you can do? You can just right click, stop, and right click delete and add a new firewall so here you can get your license information admin account yes we have an admin account we are working with 48 vm64 40 os version build version system yes you can restart or shut down your firewall device graphically if you want to restart or shut down your firewall device through cli command let's try to log in So to restart or shut down your firewall device, we have a command request. Okay, wait. Execute, reboot. Execute, reboot command you can use to re restart your firewall device for shutdown. Execute, shutdown command you can use to shut down your firewall device. So you can do with graphical page or you can do with CLI command. Clear, Krish? Yes, sir. Okay, let's continue this topic tomorrow. Same time, Krish, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, please connect tomorrow, same time, 9.30. Okay, sir. We'll, uh, we'll... Take care. Tomorrow, we can, the... we can try to set up our lab. And this video, I will share in 30 minutes.
Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye.